All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to review different types of text structures. And by the end of the lesson, our objective is that you can say, I can identify different types of text structures in any informational text that I read. So before we start on looking at the different types, let's talk about what text structure is. So the idea of structure is talking about how things are put together and how they are built, meaning we're looking at what kind of things are going into a text, what kind of things are being focused on. So just like we have a house, a school, and a barn that are all buildings, but they are different types of buildings, they are put together differently for different purposes. The barn has animals living in it, a house has people living in it, a school has people coming to learn in it. And even though they might have things in common, for example, a house, a uh, school and a barn all have some kind of food type thing because people eat in houses, students and adults eat in schools, and animals eat in barns. How they are actually integrated and moved and shown is different depending on the purpose. So that's the idea we have to come here is that different text structures are used for different purposes. Authors pick them depending on what their purpose is for that paragraph or that overall piece. So now let's jump into different types of text structures. There are five different structure types that we are gonna go over. We have chronologic, we have cause effect, problem solution, compare contrast, and description. So let's go break these down one by one. So chronological is about how things happen in order. First, second, third, after, then. It's about the time and in a particular order. So this is also called sequence or time order for that reason because it goes in order. Think about directions like recipes or steps to follow when you're building like Ikea furniture. Um, think about time things for people to go in and you've got chronological. We also have cause and effect, which is all about explaining how one event leads to another event or result. Just like this little forces game, uh, I forget what it's called, something cradle, but when you pull that one um, hanging ball back and you drop it, it comes and hits and the force transfers, leading to the result of the other ball getting kicked out and then coming back and keeping going. So it is, Interesting to note that it can be presented as cause effect or effect cause. As long as both pieces are in it, it is cause and effect. Does not matter what the order it is presented in. Some more keywords as a result, the consequence, so and so on. As long as one thing is causing another or an effect can be traced back to a cause, that's it. Let's move to problem solution. Just like if I have a missing puzzle piece, the solution to my problem is finding the puzzle piece. This type will present a problem and one or more possible solutions. Sometimes it can be presented as here's a problem, here's what they did to solve it. Sometimes here's a problem, here's ideas that we could use to fix it. Either one works. So we have some synonyms for problem like difficulty, struggle, uncertainty, and we have some synonyms for solutions, possibility, hope, and in the future. Those are all keywords to look out for to see if you have problem and solution text structure happening here. Okay, we are on to compare and contrast, which we have the Venn diagram. And we have the Venn diagram here because we are looking to see what is the same, that shaded area where it kind of like overlaps, and what is different in the separate sections of the Venn diagram in two or more things. We are using this to show what can be the same, what is different, and really understand things. Some keywords to be on the lookout for, but while those are kind of showing differences, both all can show the same, the similarities we're looking for. And now we've got description. I believe this is our fifth one. So description is all about describing a location, an idea, or an event. Giving information. Not necessarily doing something with that information, but it can be. It usually has some kind of main point, like this beach is a wonderful place. Reason, 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 reason describing why it's so good, things like that. So CERs can be description, but it can also just be, hey, let me just show you this pretty location. 
or it could be, let me help you understand this idea. So some keywords could be one reason or an example. Quick note on keywords. Just because a keyword is there does not mean it has to be that type. See how the keyword is being used. Is it actually showing an example or is it like an example of a solution, for example? Um, so just keep an eye out for that type of thing. And also you might not have the keywords we've talked about, but you wanna look for something similar. Okay, example time. So we have our baby painted turtles example up here on the screen, and we are gonna to try to figure out what type this one is. So here's our choices, and I'm gonna start taking this away as I do a think aloud with this. So we're talking about baby painted turtles, winter, chemicals in their blood, and surviving freezing temperatures. Okay, I'm gonna take away compare and contrast because I'm only talking about baby painted turtles. One thing only, automatically can't be compare contrast. I'm also gonna take away our time sequence one here because even though we're mentioning winter, I'm not seeing steps. I'm not seeing first, second, third. So that is out. I'm going to take away problem solution because they spend all winter in their nest, but I'm not saying anything about how this is a problem or how they, it needs to be fixed. So that's gone. I'm down to cause effect and description. And I'm gonna take away description because even though we're talking about these and describing these things, I have some keywords that I'm gonna come here and point out really quickly. I have this keyword as a result. Result tells me there's probably something causing this, so it's probably cause and effect. So my cause is actually right here, that they have special chemicals in their blood that keeps their blood from freezing. That is something they already have that causes them to be able to survive for using temperature, which means they can spend all winter in their nests. All right, here we go. Quick review to wrap it back up. The idea of structure is looking about how things are put together and built, meaning in text, what is being added, what is being written, how is it being presented. Depending on what you want to um, highlight or focus on, we use different structures because they give us different purposes and have different information to focus on. And we have those five structure types that should now be in your notes to go over and look for.